Canva has some amazing tools, but I've got to say my favorite are their color tools. Within Canva's design school, they have a color palette generator, a color wheel, and they even teach you color theory. So if you wanna take your designs to the next level, they have tons of resources available to you in the footer. So I'm gonna show you how to locate them and how to use them. If you have not signed up for my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LashondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. So we are back in Canva Design School. You can get here by going to designschool.canva.com and at the bottom, you're going to find those resources. So in the previous video, we talked about the font combinations resource. And in this video, I wanna hop into the palette generator. So when you create graphics on Canva, you may want to find colors that complement each other or go with each other. Now, here are a couple options. If you want a color scheme that perfectly matches your images, you can use Canva's color palette generator. And so what you can do is you can upload an image directly to Canva. And we're going to test a demo image first. So when you test out the demo image, you can see here that Canva is pulling the color codes from the image itself. This is similar to the website coolers that I have previously covered on the channel. Now, what I like about this versus coolers is number one, it gives a name to the colors and it also makes it easy for you to hover and copy these hex codes to use for later. If you scroll down, you can upload another image to try out another color palette, or you can explore the color combinations. So let's go ahead and explore the color combinations, and then we're going to go back and upload a photo ourselves. So if we click on Explore Color Combinations, you're going to see color palettes with four colors available. Again, what I like about them is they do have a name. So if you are collaborating on a project and you are torn between a couple different palettes, you can actually search them by keyword, which would be the name of the color palette itself. And it's easier to locate that within coolers. Unfortunately, they don't name the palettes. So if you scroll down, you'll see some more options. And as you can see, there are tons and tons of pages of palettes to choose from. So if you are potentially looking to rebrand or you're looking for a color palette for maybe a course you're doing or an upcoming event, this could be an awesome place for you to click through and decide what you like based on this view. So I really appreciate the Explore Color Combinations um, feature within Canva. If we go back to the palette generator, now what we're gonna try is uploading an image. So if you click on upload an image, we'll just go ahead and pull the color palette from this poster I designed. So I uploaded the design and it was able to pull the major colors from this image and it pulls five colors. So again, if you upload an image and you have it extract the colors from the image, you'll get five. But if you want to explore what they have available, then you can get something that will have four colors. Now, the last thing you can do is you can create a custom color palette using their color wheel. So we'll click here. And so what's awesome is you start with the color you're interested in. So if you have a color in your logo, perhaps, that your logo is mostly black and white with a pop of color, you could put that in here. We'll go ahead and stick with the color they have then choose a color combination. And so you've got a few options here. So if we click through, you can see the difference. So even if you're unfamiliar with some of these words, you can see 
how the cog wheel is moving around based on what you click on. Now what you can do is create a graphic with those color codes or you can export it. So let's do the most complicated one that gives you four different colors to choose from. If we say create the graphic, then what it does is it applies that color palette to your next design. I didn't realize it did that. So that is pretty freaking incredible. So this is an awesome way for you to save time modifying these designs because it's going to pull things that have that color palette. So let's go back and export the palette and we can save it as a PDF. So let's explore something else. So if we choose, let's do something a bit more obvious. Um, we are going to choose a pink. There we go. And so if we say create a graphic, let's see if it does pull over those color codes into the designs. That's awesome. So you can see it's taking hints from the color palette that we chose and it's modifying the designs to match our palette. That is really fun. So that's a fun way to experiment with what Canva has available. Now, again, the quickest way that I got here was going to Canva's design school and then clicking under learn and then see all. And when I did that, I was able to see all the different resources. So the purpose of Design School is to make it easier for you to create better graphics within Canva. So you can go through and you can take all sorts of classes from Canva. There's even some live events that you can attend to become a better graphic designer. But if you just want to utilize the resources, you can scroll down, you can use the color wheel, and you can use the palette generator to choose your colors. Speaking of colors, let's just go ahead and click on that so that you can see it gives you even more options. So it gives you the meaning of colors. So in the event that you want to dig in deeper into color theory, you can read more about the different colors that are available within Canva. So I think this is really an incredible tool for people who want to take their designs to the next level. And so I would encourage you, if you are paying for Canva, to go ahead, check out Design School, scroll to the bottom, and test out some of the resources they have available for people wanting to learn more about color. So I hope this video encouraged you to start doing some more creative things with your use of color within Canva. Try out the color wheel, try out the palette generator, or even dig into color theory to help you find colors that really enhance your brand and communicate the message that you would like to share with your audience. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I would encourage you to do that because I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk for now.